Minnesota. My name's Marianne. And my name's Peter. And today we're going to be talking about narrowboat slow roaming. The other day I got asked a question and that was, why paint a boat? Now if you have been following the last couple of videos you will know that two weeks ago we were discussing paint colours and we still haven't got that sorted. <laughs> and last week Flan and Peter were moving out, but I think Peter did most of the work, and Flan didn't help at all. Yeah, not about that. <laughs> so today, narrowboat slow roaming. Do you want to tell us a bit about your history with narrowboat slow roaming? Right, well, we started looking for a boat at, um, over Christmas 2017, that's right. Um, and I sort of had in my head that I'd like to get a boat before spring um, rather than start out uh, cruising in high summer um, and then I made a checklist of things that I wanted the boat to have and one of the things was good paintwork. Right and did narrowboat slow roaming have good paintwork? Not really, no. <laughs> <laughs> it looked nice when we first saw it. <laughs> Well, I have to say, having viewed it in the in the yard where it was for sale, I did say to the people in the office, it's a nice boat, but the paint is a bit tired. Um, as usual, they, they made no comment to that. <laughs> but it was a bit dull. Um, but when it rains, it always looks very shiny. Right, so that's a clue as to how it might look when it's... Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So as as I was able to put a tick against everything else on my checklist, uh, and I didn't really expect to find a hundred percent match, uh, decided to go ahead with uh, with slow roaming as the boat. Have you had any regrets about it? No. I think over time I realised that the layout suits suits me and, and us. I think particularly well. I like the galley. Um, it yeah. works very well. <laughs> yes, the, the way things are laid out. It would be nice to have a little bit more room in the lounge area. Mm. Um, but the only way to do, well, the only way you, that could have been done is if we didn't have, for example, the washing machine. Um, and it's now far too late to do anything about it. You can't move move things around inside once they're built. No. So we um, we design around that. Yeah, I think we've done a pretty good job with it. It's nice and homely. But getting back to the painting, um, you said this was one of the criteria that you wanted to give some attention to. Yes. As time went on, it became clear that somebody had applied a top coat over the original paint on the boat all over and they hadn't done the preparation first and it all started peeling off. It started where the, um, the non-slip parts are on the roof and on the gunnels. It began to lift from there uh, within a few months. Right. But then, yes, then it was coming off everywhere. <coughs> okay, when did your search for a painter begin? Um, almost exactly a year ago. It had always been in my mind that at some point we'd get the boat painted and then last summer I suddenly thought well it is doable now so like with the boat you start off by reading up about painting boat painting in particular mm -hmm. and find that there's all kinds of um, painting some people are very happy to moor up somewhere rub it down, rub the boat down a bit, a coat of paint on, knowing that it'll need doing again in about a year and a half's time. Um, and I thought about that, I thought about all the other options, uh, and eventually came around full circle and thought, well, it'd be nice to get it done properly. In other words, get right down to bare metal again, because where the new crouch was fitted, there are some holes left over from old crouch fittings that need to be filled and painted over. Um, there's a few nicks in the paintwork that have gone right the way through. I could 
do those piecemeal, but it, while I had the opportunity, get the whole thing done from scratch. The first big thing was some painters say, well, we'll sand them until we see a good surface, and then we'll paint on top of that. And others, like Mike, who's doing the boat now, um, say, well, if I can't take it back to bare metal, then I won't do the job. Um, because they, they think it's absolutely critical to do that. There's quite a few coats of primer, undercoat and gloss that's going to go onto the boat. And in an interview that I have seen online with um, John Barnard, um, a painter from further north, he actually says that the reason for all those coats of paint and primer and undercoat etc is actually to protect the metal that's underneath it, which is crucial because if you get rust developing, then you won't have a boat that's afloat, yes. basically. So um, I think it's quite important if you're going to do it. It's, just, it's not just cosmetic reasons that the boat is being painted right now. There is rust developing on the where that you've had water underneath the mat and the well deck and things like that. Yes, yeah, the, the, the non-slip coating on the well deck floor uh, has lifted where the mat goes in front of the, the door. It's a big problem that a lot of people seem to have um, fallen into, which is putting waterproof mats on the well deck. And then when it's nice and dry everywhere else, there's water trapped underneath the mat, quietly rotting away in the floor. So um, I put matting down um, that stands over it, and it looked very nice when we first put it down, or, or I put it down. Um, but a dust and fluff and old leaves and everything collect underneath and it's a bit of a job to pick it up and brush underneath it so it would be nice to go back to a non-slip nicely painted finish uh, it would also give us about five millimeters of extra headroom which for me crutch. is not important <laughs> i've got enough headroom in the crutch but for peter who's that bit taller than i well yeah you need the extra headroom <laughs> And flat doesn't need it at all. Yeah, he might have, he might appreciate the flat surface though. He might do. He might do. And it'll be easier to clean, clean up the litter tray from a flat surface as well. Well, that's the big problem is that the bits of litter can drop down through the, the matting that I've got. So um, yes, that's one of uh, one of the things. And the next thing I ran into, the next big question, is um, some painters spray paint the boats some paint them by hand and one painting company told me that um, you have to be very careful about moisture in the air when you're spray painting because you get what they call the orange peel effect sort of a mottled effect in the paintwork um, brush painting takes longer but is supposed to be the best finish you can get and so that's what we're going for. Mm. And having seen an example of the brush painting that Mike does when we went to visit the boat yard a couple of weeks ago, it looks really really good. Mm. Nice and shiny and it looks really hard wearing as well. The paintwork that's on there now is 17 years old. So right. it, it, when you look closely it there's some cracking underneath the surface of the paint that you can see, and that's why it's not shiny. Uh, what we'd like to have at the end is a, a boat that's nice and shiny and brand new looking, and I'm sure that's what we're going to get. But did you try and do anything to get that back because you knew the boat was going to be painted, but you couldn't quite get there yet? Yes, yes, I, 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 I thought about it a lot, and I wasn't keen. The, the normal thing is to use teacup. Um, to take a top layer off the paint. I wasn't sure if that was the right thing to do. Um, so last summer I did come across some car polish that had a bit of colour in it and some cutting compound. Uh, and I found one that was a pretty close match with the green of the boat, so I tried that. And in some parts it work quite well in other parts it, it, mm. it, it left it left marks um, it was quite a lot of work to get it smooth um, 
and um, after um, uh, afterwards, when I, when I met Mike, the painter, we, and I mentioned the fact that there, when you look closely, you can see cracking under the surface of the, the paint. Um, he said, "Oh yes, yes that, that 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 will happen, especially if you've been using car polish on it." <laughs> so, so, oh right. <laughs> So you didn't do use any more car polish to try and smart it up? Uh, I think I've thrown it away now. <laughs> yes. Right, okay. It's too much hard work anyway. Yes, yeah, especially as you knew you were getting the boat painted, you know, in the next few months or in the next year as, as it was then. Yes. Yeah. How long have you had to wait for Mike? Um, well, I first contacted him, must have been in early October. And then we agreed that I would make my way up to Stockton to meet him. And we had a preliminary chat. Mm -hmm. And then um, I went away so we could think about it. Went down to Leamington Spa for a couple of days. And then turned around and went back to the, the, the Blue Lias pub. Met up again and said, yes, we'd like to do it. And that was middle of November. number of I think three boats to be done before then so even back then he said well it'll be end of May June time next year right we just had to be patient but then I think I have heard that to get a good boat painter be prepared to wait yes if he'd said bring it in on Monday then I would have been a bit concerned because if he <laughs> Why, why does he have all that spare time? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so I did expect to wait and, and that was fine because I, if you remember, I was then on, from there, I'd already planned to go on to Northampton to yes. meet the solar panel man. Oh yes, more about solar panels later. <laughs> we, won't, we won't talk about solar panels right now. Yes. We'll, we'll stop there for the moment about uh, painting and things. Mm -hmm and we've got more information to tell you in future videos. So please consider subscribing, liking and sharing this video and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be informed of future videos, especially with all this news for slow roaming coming up. Exciting stuff! Um, but until then, until next week, it's bye!